this series of introduction to cyber security online course is already being available on youtube in hindi language but i received suggestions from people of southern part of india especially maharashtra people who have difficulty in understanding hindi language so they asked me to record in english as well therefore i am starting this series in english so that it can reach to broader audience this introduction to cyber security series is for everyone no prerequisites are needed for this course anyone whosoever is willing to learn about the basics of cyber security can do it so let's start introduction to cyber security in this episode 1 we will understand what is cyber security how does cyber security protects our data what does it do basically we will explore that so when we say what is cyber security cyber security what does it do cyber security means something related with the cyber and security so cyber security shields individuals business houses and governments from cyber assaults and uh, the secure interconnected systems and information against unauthorized access or theft etc so cyber security what it is doing it is shielding us or it is shielding our interconnected systems and information against any type of unauthorized access or say data theft so when we say it secures us so how does it secure it secures us at three levels first one is the individual level or you can say personal level then comes the organizational level and third one is the government level so first we will talk about the individual level when we say it secures at at individual level so how does it secures it protects our identity and personal data and electronic devices now you may ask what is the identity what is personal data so your name address phone number age gender your financial details banking details this is your personal data and this personal data makes your identity so your identity is comprised of your personal data for example aadhar card aadhar card is having your certain information so that personal information is uh, giving you one identity so the aadhar which you use as your id card or if you have any social security number so these kind of things have our personal information so at individual level it protects our data when we say that personal level what can be the threat at personal level some people do say that they don't have any threat but it is not so because cyber security risk refer to the potential threats and vulnerabilities that individual face in the digital realm these risk can have significant consequences for personal privacy mm -hmm. finances and overall well being so here are some common cyber security risk at personal level first one is a identity theft identity theft means our identity is being used by someone else cyber criminals may attempt to steal your personal information such as your social security number financial data or login credentials what they do they do with this information they impersonate you for committing the cyber fraud so this is how they use your personal information for identity theft purpose second comes is the phishing attacks when we say phishing attacks means cyber criminals do send deceptive emails or messages to trick individuals into revealing sensitive information or downloading malicious software so what they do they will send you some email impersonating your friend family member or or any known person and they may say that this is the free software i got the link and this is very expensive software but if you download it using this link you will get it free so this is how they may lure their victim and when we click on this particular uh, link either it may redirect us to the particular phishing website or even it may download some malicious software these malicious softwares are called as malware so when we say that they may harm us uh, using malware so what they will do they will uh, you know lure us in doing some activity so that they can download any malicious software such as viruses ransomware or spyware and can infect your devices and compromise your data so what happens is 
uh, sometimes they use our social media profiles they may send you some very lucrative messages and they say open this link or they may send you some zip files or rar files which are the compressed files or i should say folders so as you unzip or open those you know particular zipped folders there is a high possibility that any malicious software will get downloaded into your device and your device is compromised and cyber criminals do have access to your uh, device totally they can you know access whatever you are doing whatever you are typing messages you sent emails you sent or photographs files you have in your device so this is how deadly it can be next can be the unsecured network what happens is uh, if we are on airport or railway we use public wifi so these public wifi networks are highly unsecured networks and we should avoid those and if we are using then at least we should not use our banking uh, facility or any financial activity on these public wifi and if, if there is an emergency you have to use public wifi and do some banking activity then use the vpn then comes is the weak passwords it is very commonly understood by a, almost everyone that we should have a strong passwords still we neglect this fact and cyber criminals do exploit this weak password vulnerability so we should avoid having easily guessable passwords or we should avoid you reusing the same passwords for multiple accounts because it increase the risk of unauthorized access of your data or device then then comes is the lack of software updates sometimes we do not bother to update the operating systems or the softwares we do use it may be your windows or it may be your mobile phone software whether you are using iphone or android based phone if you will not keep on uh, you know software updated or your operating system updated then it can leave your devices vulnerable to the known security flaws why companies do uh, give us the patches to update our software because whenever company will come to know that there is some bug in the software they will immediately start fixing that and they launch the patch for that so therefore we should update with the genuine patches sometimes cyber criminals do send some fake uh, links or messages that some update has come up do launch but you should uh, download these patches from the app. genuine or manufacturer website only do not use any xyz link for the software updates the next tactic is the social engineering this is very common technique and very popular te technique among the cyber attackers they use this social engineering skills to get sensitive information out of you so they may manipulate individuals through social platforms or through phone calls to gain access to sensitive information so for example somebody may receive a call and the person on the other side may say that i am the manager of your bank and some fraudulent transactions are being done and we have to stop those transactions so we will send you the otp just provide that otp and stop fraudulent transactions we so person himself or herself provides the otp to the cyber criminal or attacker so we need to be alert that whether the person who is at the other end or who is asking for certain information is a genuine person or not in such scenario you should directly visit the bank branch or if you have their phone numbers so directly call them on their you know genuine numbers and cross check these information before providing or or sharing any sensitive data then comes is the online privacy this is something very crucial and lots of talks are being used on this online privacy and now india has its own uh, uh, privacy law also so let's understand uh, how can you know it can lead us to the uh, privacy breach because if we do share so much personal information on social media or any other online platform so this can lead to privacy breaches for example somebody is on vacation with the family and they share their uh, vacation photograph or they do post that for 5 days they will be at particular location so this may give you uh, some you know, information to your uh, say i should not say your to the people who can be behind you or who are doing reiki of your home or office so they have now clear cut clue 
that you are not available at your location so sometimes you know physical theft also do happen in such cases or you know they may try to steal some other confidential information from your house or office and there can be multiple you know repercussions of this particular thing so we have to be careful whatever we are sharing with the people on social media up to what extent we have to uh, share with them so be mindful about it next so this is all about the uh, at the individual level or you can say the personal level now we talk about the organizational level so what cyber security does at the level of organization it will safeguard the organization's data its customers data and of course the organization reputation so what happens is cyber security risk poses significant threats to the stability reputation and operations of a business or any institution these risks can result in financial losses data breaches legal liabilities and further damage to the customer trust so let's discuss some common cyber security uh, risk that organization may face very popular and you know among the cyber criminals and uh, cyber attackers is the data breach data breach is very common threat to the, to any organization so what happens in data breach is if cyber attackers have access to uh, your sensitive company information customer information or even say intellectual property so this can lead to the financial loss legal consequences and further the reputational damage then comes is the ransomware as we discussed at the level of individual also that there is a possibility that cyber criminals do uh, target us for you know installing malware on our own in our devices so same thing can happen at the level of organization also so what these people do they you know uh, do some activity so that malicious software can be installed in the organization devices that can encrypt the organization data demanding a ransom for its release and failure to pay can lead to the data loss or exposure what happens once it's a real case there is a one pathology lab and uh, when you know one day one fine day when staff comes and open the lab and start patient registration their computer says that your data has been encrypted and you have to pay that that much ransom into the bitcoin form only then we will release your data otherwise we will post it on the dark web so this is how these ransomware can harm any organization and it is not necessary that even after paying the ransomware one can get the data back or there is no guarantee that they will not release this data on other platform or they will not sell this data next is the phishing attack phishing attack as we understood at the level of individual also so it it may happen at the level of organization also so because cyber criminal cyber attackers do know that crucial information is in the hand of management people so they may send its uh, organizations um, uh, employees some deceptive deceptive emails or say messages and this can lead to the unauthorized access data leaks or say malware infections next is the insider threats we should not undermine the people uh, the capacity of the people who are working with the organizations sometimes what we have seen during investigation if there is any gruntled employee of an organization so he or she may do you know some wrong activities whenever they do resign they pass the confidential information to to the company they join or they sell this information to the organization competitor so biggest harm these insider threats can be at the level of organization then sometimes uh, data leak unintentionally as well there can be n number of reasons maybe there are third party vendors so next is the third party risk any organization may have multiple vendors because to run its operations smoothly they employ uh, or they you know outsource certain uh, services to their third party vendors so organization may not may have some you know very good security policies on its place or it may have you know secure compliances also but it may not be sure whether its third party vendor is having proper security compliances in place or not or whether whatever data is being transferred to this third party vendor whether how they are handling it how it is being transited so n number of things are there to take care of 
so third party risk also you know can cause uh, to the data breach or it can be exploited to gain access to any organization system or even entire infrastructure next is the security awareness if you have you know multiple uh, security policies in place you may have very good infrastructure on the in the organization but if your staff is not educated they do not know how to respond to an email how to uh, you know what to share what not to share so lack of security awareness can also pose a great security risk to your uh, organization so train your employee in cyber security best practices otherwise it can contribute to uh, vulnerabilities within the organization then comes is the outdated systems in bigger organizations there are some hardware and still they are using those hardwares those are the outdated one so there can be n number of reasons why organization is not replacing those outdated systems so if they fail to update and up, uh, patch the software or hardware so it can leave systems exposed to known vulnerabilities so many uh, machines are available which are automated machines or say computerized machines uh, so and they, those are being used for you know hardware purpose so especially outdated systems have been exploited in those cases majorly next comes is the unsecured iot devices we are living in the cyber world and lots of iot devices we use iot means internet of things so we are using iot devices and there comes a security threat because of this because if we are not having proper security measures so these iot devices can be used as entry point by the cyber attackers let's take one example suppose we are having cctv in the office or at home and if the devices or the cameras the dvrs if those are not the secured one our modem is not secured so then this cctv can pose as a threat for you for for the organization because cyber attackers may exploit these iot devices and they can you know create entry points for cyber attacks through these uh, cctvs like this there can be so many iot devices it can be a smart watch or whatever next is the we are not having uh, if we are not having regulatory compliances in place properly sometimes what we have seen in the real life that companies do have uh, uh, certifications but they are not following the policies or the compliances properly so it is not only about the compliances we need to follow the practices as well so failure to meet industry specific or say legal cyber security requirement can result in penalties and legal issues and one more point is lack of incident response plan we may have you know cyber security in place but what if we do not have incident response plan if our employee do, uh, do not know what to do if there has been any cyber incident within the organization so make sure that you have a uh, security or say any incident response plan within your organization because without a proper plan to handle cyber security incidents organization may handle to contain and mitigate the uh, impact of a breach it will be very difficult for the organization to handle it so always make sure that you have a incident response plan in place so to address these risk organizations should implement a comprehensive cyber security strategy that include robust security policies regular employee trainings strong access controls network monitoring incident response plans regular security assessments and of course stay up to date with the latest security threats and best practices so cyber security should be a priority at all level of the organization and adopt a proactive approach to protect digital assets so this is all about in episode 1 for the cyber security uh, introduction to cyber security i will be back with episode 2 and we will further go on the uh, subject if you have any query you may write to me in the comment box i will address your queries or you may send me the email and if you want to connect with me on whatsapp or telegram then i will mention the Uh, telegram link and whatsapp group link in the video description you may join us